Hello. I don't have any bread on me now, but I will get some, and I'll bring you back some. Is that fair? I shall call you... Ralph. That's Kevin. Actually, you know what? I'm sorry for assuming your gender. I apologize. Oh, oh, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Oh, just had an awesome shower. It was really, really nice. Just gonna go wake up the leads. Hello? But uh, we're on our way to town. Uh, not sure what we're gonna do. I think we might be heading to the bodies exhibit. Not sure how to feel about that. Might just run through it. I wonder if they have sick bags in there. I think if I think about it too much, I'll probably uh, vomit. Maybe the bodies exhibit and uh, maybe hop on, hop off tour. Not 100% sure. One of the places here in Amsterdam where you can get some food, which I think is kind of cool, uh, it's called Fibo. You can just walk in, just get hot food out of a vending machine. Mm. Nom, nom, nom. Trying to steal my, uh, my sausage. Not today. <laughs> we thought it was a sausage, but didn't know it's just after like breaking up into... <laughs> oh, your gloves are wrecked. It's okay. I want to taste it. Tuna, I think. Is it? Tuna. What is it? Oh, gonna try some. This tastes like creamy chicken pie, apparently. Mmm. That's very nice. That's really nice. Honestly, it's like chick soup with meat in it or something. I'd say there's like bits of mushrooms and stuff in it or something like that. What do you think? Nice. Very nice. It's really kind of creamy and soupy. It's really it? nice. I approve. Go away. Oh, he got a bit. He got a bit. Your teeth. There's another one from Nona. They're all following us. As I recall, this is how the plague started. The dream. wandering around trying to find food. I think someone mentioned pancakes and now everybody wants pancakes, so. The dream. So surprise, surprise, we stopped at an Irish pub for uh, some food. Had a nice breakfast. O'Reilly's, of course, Irish. Okay, so we were gonna go for pancakes, but we decided to stop at a shop. Apple caramel cake. Tara's having a waffle inside. I'm not sure what Gavin's getting, but uh, I think I'm gonna enjoy this. Looks nice. So I'm on my way to the bike in town, bike rental shop. I'm gonna inquire about the prices and stuff. So the bikes aren't too expensive to rent, but uh, it's still kind of slippy around, so I'm not 100% sure if I should rent one. I'm still tempted to though, so I'll have a think about it. But I know it's gonna get dark soon as well, and I don't wanna be in Amsterdam with a, with a bike that I can't find the place back to. I should think about it. I'm just about to go into the Body Worlds exhibit, and uh, kind of freaking out a little bit because it's all dissected humans and stuff, so. We'll see how this goes. Okay. Deep breaths. Deep breaths. Deep breaths. Deep breaths. Whoa, 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 whoa. Stop, stop, stop. Okay, so I just have to warn you all that for the next couple of minutes, this vlog is going to get fairly graphic. It's the Body Worlds exhibit in Amsterdam. I was kind of scared going in there because I'm not great with stuff like this. But it was very interesting. It was really, really educational. 
and it was just really cool in general so i know some of you might not like this kind of stuff so here's the time if you want to skip ahead if you don't want to skip ahead i hope you enjoy it and maybe it'll change your opinion about it like it did mine because i was nervous going in there but when i came out i was actually really happy that i just that i had gone in there and tried it yeah it was cool so i hope you enjoy it and i'll be back again in a couple of minutes a face scanner and it's detecting how angry, happy, sad or surprised we are. <gasps> okay, angry. Happy. Sad. <laughs> surprised. This <gasps> is <laughs> 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 You're trying to get all four at once. Your head will explode, man. I mean for some people sax is life, but some people sex is death as well. Do a dance. <laughs> Sir Flossin. <laughs> oh Jesus. <laughs> Just spazzes. Oh my god, that's, that's that is Genuinely terrifying, honestly. I have nightmares about that. So there's a, an exhibit here where two of the bodies are in the throngs of making love. And of course, being a typical woman, she got her nails done first. That looks like me when I was younger. Oh my god. I found it. Stopped for a minute and someone threw a snowball into the fucking train. Hello. I don't have any bread on me now, but I will get some and I'll bring you back some. Is that fair? I shall call you... Ralph. That's Kevin. Actually, you know what? I'm sorry for assuming your gender. I apologize. Oh, oh, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. These ducks are just badass. They just don't care. You see, I'll just chill on the snowy grass, no problem. Kevin, what are you doing? I mean, who needs a lawnmower? And there could be a gang war. Shit's about to go down. It was a great visit. We shall see you again next time. Oh look, it's a massager for your back. I think that's one of those refillable bottles. It's BPA free. On our way home. And we are through. So we weren't sure if we were going to make it on time, but we did. And now we're going to go get some food.
can't believe he's gone. This is an emergency appeal. I can't believe I even have to say this. I mean, you know, you never think it will happen to you. You always think, no, no, this will never happen to me. It'll never happen to me. You know, you see it in the news. You see it every day. And you think, no, this will never happen to me. But it happened to me. I lost my hat in Amsterdam. I'm devastated, genuinely devastated. That hat went everywhere with me. Everywhere. It was like my soul hat. It was soul hats. It's only starting to hit me now. The shock of it all is only starting to hit me now. I mean, I haven't shaved for days, you know. I, have, I haven't been able to eat. I've just been worried constantly. Like, is he okay? Did someone find him? Is he being taken care of? And it just it keeps me awake at night. And it keeps me up at night thinking where my hat is and whose head could it be on. I mean, what if they have dandruff? What if they have dandruff? Oh my God, I don't even want to think about it. Hattie! <laughs> no, but seriously, I lost my hat on the way to the airport and I'm kind of bummed about it. But there is a reward. If you're in Amsterdam and you found my hat, there's a 1,000 Russian ruble reward, which is <laughs> about 13 euro. <laughs> so if you're in Amsterdam and you find my hat, I will give you 1,000 thousand Russian rubles uh, so yeah just let me know if you found it if you did find it and you just don't want to give it back to me then that's fine just please take care of it please feed it it needs to be taken for daily walks um, it, it just likes attention you know it likes to be taken care of and uh, yeah I'm gonna miss you Hattie respect <laughs> so anyway, I had a really nice time in Amsterdam. Even though it snowed a lot, I think it gave the city some character, which I thought was cool. I hope you enjoyed this video. I know it was a little bit graphic in places. Maybe you learned something from it. Uh, there's going to be another episode on Tuesday. And if you're enjoying my videos, you can find more here. You can drop a like, subscribe, leave a comment, let me know. Give me some feedback. Let me know what you like, let me know what you don't like. Every subscribe, every like, every comment that I get, it helps my channel to grow. And I'd really appreciate it if you could subscribe or leave a like. And yeah, if you see my hat, please send it to me. Bye. Bye now, bye.